Wait, wait, stop. What happened? Don't you think it's not working? Bring something new, bro. Yeah, you're right. Bro, people want to learn editing, not just throw pre-made effects and call it a day. Oh, so we actually need to teach what truly matters? Exactly. I think you're right. So today, I'm gonna teach you the real concept of video editing in CapCut. But wait, it doesn't matter which software you use. The concept is the same everywhere. Keyframes are one of the most important thing to make your videos smoother and more engaging. And if you're new to editing, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll know how to keyframe like a pro. So yeah, stick your ass, grab a notebook, and let's roll. So, what exactly are keyframes? Keyframes are markers or anchor points in your timeline that tell changes in an object's properties like position, size, rotation, or opacity to creating smooth animation from start to finish. Didn't get that? Don't worry, let me show you practically. I opened CapCut and added my assets to the timeline. Now let's add a keyframe by clicking here. And congratulations, you've added your first keyframe. Now, let's say I want to move speed to the finishing line. I'll go to the end, Go to Transform, click on it, and then click on Advanced. Here you'll see three options, Position, Zoom, and Rotation. We want to change the position of the speed. Here you'll see X and Y axes, which basically means X is for horizontal movement and Y is for vertical movement. Easy, right? So I'll go to the end and increase the X value to move it to the right. See how we've animated it easily. Same with zoom in and out. Just add two keyframes where you want the zoom effect to start and end. Increase the scale value like me, and that's it. For smoother zoom animation, the key is the distance between two keyframes. When keyframes are placed closer together, motion will be fast. If they are far apart, motion will be slower. The next most important part of keyframes is keyframe flow animation, which controls how motion flows between keyframes. There are three main categories, ease in, ease out, and ease. First, in animation starts slowly and speeds up at the end and creates smooth motion. CapCut has three types, ease in, gradually picks up speed. Quad in, starts slower, but builds momentum smoothly. Cubic in, begins very slow, then accelerates more aggressively. Ease out, the reverse of ease in, starts fast, slows down at the end, giving softer stops. CapCut provides ease out, quad out, and cubic out. You can see how they differ. Finally, ease graph. It combines both graphs, starts slow, speeds up in the middle, then slows down at the end. CapCut has ease, quad ease, cubic ease, and circular ease. And these two graphs, rebound in and rebound out, add a slight bounce for extra impact. Now, let me show you these in action. I've added my assets to the timeline, then for animating it, go to transform, add a keyframe at the start, go to middle, and move it to the right. And I will go to the end, and will increase the scale value. The keyframes are added, as you can see. Now you can see the animation, but it's not looking smooth. Click on this tiny graph icon to customize it. Click on Linear. Add beats, move them around, adjust the graph as you want. And for this zoom part, I will experiment between ease graph. See how smooth and cool it looks now. If you want a separate video just on graphs, comment below and I'll make it. You can do literally anything in editing with keyframes. So go experiment, make something crazy. See you in the next one, and as always.